Hello there, and welcome to Pets Aplenty. Today on the channel, you'll learn about the Great Pyrenees, a quiet, well-behaved, and serious breed renowned for his unwavering loyalty to his family. We've gathered all this information to help you make an informed decision if you find yourself drawn to this beautiful dog. Before we continue, though, we would love for you to become a member of the channel by clicking on the Join button down below. You can also review the perks of Pets Aplenty membership after clicking the Join button. Now, let's get into the video. Dog Breed History the Pier has a long history that probably began in the 18th century BC. The breed seems to have sprung from ancient Central Asian mounted sheepdogs stretching back thousands of years. Fossil remnants show that between 1800 and 1000 BC, the Great Pyrenees were introduced to the Pyrenees mountain region in southern France. The Great Pyrenees breed was developed centuries ago to work with herding dogs and peasant shepherds in this region, which served as a natural border between France and Spain. When guarding the flock, their bravery was renowned, and the peer was embraced by French nobility and the monarchy. The Great Pyrenees was chosen as the royal dog of France in the 17th century at the court of King Louis XIV after serving as effective chateau defenders. General Lafayette introduced the Great Pyrenees to the United States in 1824. He is still a hard worker today and is known as the Pyrenean Mountain Dog in Europe. The American Kennel Club officially acknowledged the breed in 1933. Appearance the Great Pyrenees is a huge, powerful dog with a double coat. The undercoat is fine, velvety, and thick, while the outer coat is long, coarse, straight, or somewhat wavy. The luxurious, waterproof coat is either entirely white or white with stunning hues of gray, tan, reddish brown, or badger. The breed is sometimes likened to a polar bear, given its enormous size, remarkable strength, and thick fluffy white coat. Male Great Pyrenees weigh around 100 pounds and stands between 27 and 32 inches tall on average. Female heights vary from 25 to 29 inches and their starting weights are 85 pounds. These canines have deep, dark eyes that are clever and soulful. The triangular ears hang downward. The dog's tail is long and plumed, reaching the animal's hocks. The Great Pyrenees reach adulthood at one year of age. However, maturation may take up to two years. Temperament the Great Pyrenees is outstanding for his unwavering loyalty to his family, which includes well-behaved kids. The Great Pyrenees are naturally relatively autonomous since they were reared to be left alone and watch after sheep in mountain valleys. Compared to other breeds, this independence might make obedience training more difficult. Aside from that, these dogs tend to be dependable, friendly, and kind. Still, they won't think twice about defending their family and home if necessary. The here has a solid propensity to bark due to its exact protecting origins. When faced with danger, these staunch guardians may instantly spring into action and move with elegance and speed. It's crucial to teach and socialize Great Pyrenees pups while they're young due to this inclination and their size. Socialization Socialization is vital for this breed because of its protective character. These dogs like to spend a lot of time with their families to prevent boredom and destructive behavior. Basically, they love a structured schedule. So, if you lead a quiet life and reside in a suburban or rural region, the Great Pyrenees might make a fantastic companion. Exposure to as many unfamiliar people, places, and circumstances as possible, mainly while the peer is a puppy, can reduce overly protective tendencies. Never leave the dog outdoors in the yard while the family is not home since they could attempt to flee to look for potential predators. They may disregard an electrical fence because of their thick hair and excellent pain tolerance. Hence, a natural barrier is required. Remember that training a peer requires patience since they tend to be independent and sometimes obstinate. Even then, do not anticipate the peer to take home any obedience titles grooming. 
Peers have two types of coats, a soft undercoat and a long outer coat. Research has shown that this breed doesn't need much care since their coat resists tangles and grime. This breed sheds moderately to heavily, therefore regular grooming is necessary. Owners claim that they shed more during the spring season. Reduce the quantity of shed hair that ends up all over the home by brushing your pet thoroughly at least once a week using a pin brush or slicker brush. Your dog will only need to be bathed once every few months because of the way their coats naturally lose dirt. However, since the dog's coat shields him from the sun during warmer weather, it is not advised to trim or shave him. The grooming practice should also include regular tooth brushing and nail trimming. You should clip your dog's nails to prevent them from splitting. Trimming might lessen the chance of scratches, and this breed loves to softly paw you to obtain your attention. Gum disease may be avoided with dental care. Clean your dog's teeth with a toothpaste made for dogs at least twice Twice weekly to maintain a healthy mouth. We also advise you to check your pet's ears weekly for debris, wax accumulation, and other anomalies. Exercise Peers require considerable exercise every day since they're working dogs. Peers should be walked for at least 30 to 40 minutes daily, but they are versatile and may tolerate up to two hours of exercise. Walking with their owner is an excellent example of a moderate workout that'll keep them happy and healthy. This breed tends to stray when free from a leash during walks. The breed was created to defend livestock and has been used since the dawn of time to keep flocks safe from wolves wolves, bears, and human adversaries. They prefer to save their energy for defending their flock while not working and will patrol their region. They function best when given access to a large, securely gated yard where they may roam and patrol. By taking part in canine sports like obedience competitions and cart pulling, the breed also trains its mind and body. Training Peers may be challenging to teach since they were raised to be clever, independent watchdogs for flocks. They work best with owners who have prior dog training expertise and need constancy. They are intelligent and headstrong. Despite their intelligence, they won't respond well to routine obedience instruction. They may not understand the purpose of sitting when asked to due to the level of their independence. Consistency, positive reinforcement, and patience are essential when training these dogs. To assist the peer in getting off to a good start in being a well-mannered, well-adjusted companion, puppy training programs and early socialization are advised. Diet and Nutrition Great Pyrenees might benefit from a brand made for big breeds and should be given two meals each day of up to three cups of dry dog food each. Although some owners say the breed seems to consume relatively little for a dog their size, it is a brilliant idea to feed your dog high-quality dry food that is low in protein and explicitly designed for giant breeds. Note, however, that the quantity your dog requires is influenced by its size, degree of activity, age, and other factors. In addition, the breed is prone to gastric dilatation vulvulvus, a condition in which the stomach swells and twists. Although the exact reasons for bloat are unknown, experts agree that eating many small meals throughout the day and avoiding strenuous activity just before meals may help lower the likelihood of it occurring. Go through the specific dietary requirements for your dog with your veterinarian. To prevent obesity and overfeeding, keep an eye on your dog's weight. Health the Great Pyrenees has a long lifetime for a big dog, lasting 10 to 12 years. While the breed is typically healthy, they are prone to various health issues, including elbow and hip dysplasia, knee difficulties, eye illnesses, neurological abnormalities, and some malignancies. The Great Pyrenees Club of America has emphasized the need to get all dogs checked for diseases that might affect the breed. Responsible breeders seek to uphold the highest breed standards set by kennel bodies, such as the AKC. These rules ensure that dogs are less likely to inherit health problems. Great Pyrenees owners are advised to consult their veterinarians regarding health concerns and preventative measures. Look out for osteochondrosis, a common joint ailment characterized by aberrant cartilage development rather than bone formation. Addison's disease, or hypoandriocorticism, is a hormonal disorder characterized by decreased adrenal hormone production, hip dysplasia, an improper development of the hip socket, and entropion, a hereditary 
artery disease that causes the eyelids to be inverted or curled inward. Furthermore, this breed is prone to bloating, also known as gastric dilatation vivalvus complex, a condition in which air collects in the stomach, causing it to twist. While there are several actions owners may take to reduce the risk of this fatal disease, there seems to be a genetic link to the problem. Have you ever noticed any of these abnormalities in your dog? What was your experience? Kindly let us know in the comments section. Consider becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button to get early access to our upcoming videos plus other membership perks. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.